In this lesson, we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting radicals. Remember that radicals are things that have like a square root or a cube root or a fourth root, fifth root, whatever. Those are radicals, and we're going to learn how to add them and subtract them in this lesson. So here's our first one. Now, at the moment, you cannot do anything. The reason is, is that these inside parts are not the same. So what we need to do is go ahead and simplify each part as much as possible. So I hope you've watched my previous lesson where I showed you how to simplify radicals. So let's look at this first one, square root six. It's a square root. So if you wanted to simplify it, you'd have to look at all the square numbers. So one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine. Unfortunately, the number six is not gonna be able to be broken down any further. So we actually actually just gonna leave that one like that. Then the number 20, um, so if we look at the square root of 20, so it's a square root, so we could look at one times one, which is one, two times two, which is four, three times two, which is nine, four times four, which is 16. So we could use the number four. So we could replace it as four times five, because that is still gonna be um, 20, right? And then the number five, you cannot do anything with that. So we're just gonna leave it like that. So in the next step, we know that we could take the square root of four. What is the square root of four? It's two. So we could let it come to the front of this part over here. See how I let it jump out, because I know the square root is two. And then on the inside, we just have that. Now, two times two is four, so I can just rewrite it like that. Cool, now what's really nice is that these two are the same, so I can add them together. So four plus three is seven, square root five. And that's the answer. We have two more examples. So the same type of procedure over here. So this square root eight, uh, we know that that's a square root. So we could think of all the square numbers, like one times one is one, two times two is four. We could use the four. So we could replace the eight with, we could replace the eight with four times two. That's what we're trying to do. This is a 45. So we could definitely replace that with nine, nine times five. Nine is a square number. And then we could do the same with, oh, it's also the same number. You could have put these two together in the very beginning if you wanted to. It would have done the same thing. Okay, so we know the square root of four is two. So we can just take that out in the front like that, and then we'll still be left with this on the inside. We know the square root of nine is three. That's a multiply, and then we're still left with a five. And then we also know the square root of nine is three, so we can just let it go on the outside like that. Okay, in the next step, I'm just gonna multiply each of those together, so two times two is four, two times three is six, three times three is nine. So these two can now go together because they're the same, but this I can't do anything with, so I'll just leave that as, as it is. Now six take away nine is negative three. There we go. Here's our last example, so 12 so remember all your square numbers, one, four, nine, 16, 25, and you could go on, but I mean, these are quite small numbers. So 12 could definitely be rewritten with the four. You always wanna use one of these, okay? So we could write that as four times three. Okay, I don't need such a big square root. 18 could be, you. we could use a nine. And then of course we could use a nine again. And you could have combined these in the beginning. So. The square root of four is two. So we take it out in the front. The square root of nine is three. So we take it out in the front. And then once again, the square root of nine is three. So we just take it out in the front. And then whatever's left over, you just keep that on the inside. Okay, so now we end up with negative two square root three, take away nine because that's three times three. And then take away another nine. And so these are these both have a square root two, so we could combine them. So our final answer would be negative 18 square root two.